Help! Stop it! Two men get it! Run! Then he's down. All clear here. Hey, they want war? We'll kill him. Right, Fats? They got what's coming to them. Now we just need to find a motherfucker hiding behind the microphone and shut him up. Yeah, pull his plug. What was he going on about anyway? <laughs> Don't ask. Ha! Damn! Well, that went pretty well. Said motherfucker behind the microphone is Someone Vlad. was talking on the other line. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love you, baby. Vlad was a perfect gentleman, reassuring his girlfriend. Someone other than Annie. You two-timing bastard, Vlad. Vlad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. Max, you heard him. He's coming for you. Oh, we got someone coming. Well, so far I haven't, so let's hope it continues. Mike the Cowboy. Damn. Hey, you Max Payne? Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride! Sounds like a plan. Guy clearly knows how to shoot. They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Very good show. Very the fun. Baseball, baseball bat. bat Boy. Episode 165. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's girlfriend. Yeah, she's not my girlfriend. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis. That's more like it. Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon. Get your hands off me, you ugly freak! <laughs> to save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must battle through a horde of demon's minions, the freaking zombie demons from outer space. Bases loaded. <laughs> Fastball! <laughs> Ugh! Foul ball! Grand Slam! Hiya! Captain Baseball Bat Boy has hit a home run! But can he find Maxwell's demon's secret lair before the game is over? <laughs> find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Go! Well, that's um, some riveting stuff right there. Good, good TV, um, great story. And the characters, of course. You gotta love the characters. Right, let's... Hi, you've called Dangerous Liaisons. Call 555-PSSY when you want to do more than just talk. P-S-S-Y. Liaisons, our girls are eager to hear from you. Interfectum. Oh, I <laughs> I actually meant to just turn it off, but I guess that works too. Sorry, Vlad. I I'm sure you can get more TVs. It wasn't even a you know a flat screen TV Jesus or anything. Jesus Christ! Apocalypse now. Got some heavy shit here. Tone it down. Just take everything. Leave them nothing. Hey, be on the lookout. The Russians are sneaky bastards. They're Mike. here! Get them, get them! Mike! Go, no, Mike! Mike! <laughs> Mike, you... No. Leave some for me! This guy is crazy. 
Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Right, well, while Mike runs ahead, let's pick up some stuff. Getting some painkillers, which is always nice. Oh, hi Mike. You're back. Good. T, the whole set for a tooth. The only way to do it. Hey, Chip, one of ours, we go dental on him. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Minnie's the boss. Half of the time, he's too busy playing with his toys. Gun business is our business. Ours. I don't care who says otherwise. We're in the gun business. Right. What can you do? Yeah, let's go dental on them. What the? Shoot! That reload, when he spins and ducks, you can actually, because of the way bullets work in Max Payne, that they are actual physical objects in the world, you can actually dodge bullets while doing that, making it even more awesome. Alright, Mike, so far so good. Um, the reason I actually care about Mike, by the way, is because he can't die in this mission. And uh, the game slightly changes based on if he survives or not. Because even, well, I don't say anything more, but yeah, there are some slight changes based on, uh, based on Mike. And he does have a tendency to just run straight ahead. Now, sometimes that's great, because sometimes he just mows down 20 mobsters. Sometimes he gets himself in a bad position and it's the end of Mike the Cowboy as we know it. No, I think we missed something here. But we can punch them. No, we can't. I think we need to actually waste the bullet to make them um, spill out some wine. But yeah, this is uh, vodka. This is uh, what Vlad turned Ragnarok into. It uh, looks nice. But it does remind you a little bit of... Um, yeah. I'm Ragnarok, which makes sense, obviously. Stop it! Oh, hello. Well, so far so good. Vlad? Vlad was bad. Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer if it wasn't too late already. Well, we, we, we did get a new weapon. We did get the Kalashnikov, but we only have 15 bullets. That's what um, he's using, by the way. We also picked up the Desert Eagle, which is still one of my favorites. Careful! Mike, relax. Don't just run in. You're gonna take too many hits. Mike? Okay, you're fine for now. You can't just walk into a room and just stand there and then hope that you won't get littered with bullets. Come on, man. Oh, Mike. Mike the cowboy. I mean, otherwise it's going pretty well. I don't actually, I don't know how the game handles like his health. If he has some sort of auto regen or whatever, because I mean, it's possible to get him killed in many stupid ways. Like, yeah, if he gets too many shots, there he can then walk down and die from falling. Which, I mean, obviously not that cool. Not, not a very cowboy way to die, I suppose. Okay, lots of bad guys immediately. Kill the wind! Kill the Russian! <laughs> this is embarrassing! 
menacing thing. Did you teach them to shoot? Kill him! Fucking kill him! We're coming, boss! Give up, Vinny! They're coming to take you away! Can God you damn it! Shut up! Shut up! Come on, Vinny! You're not really cut out for this! Jesus, these guns are loud! I think the rest are up in the other room. Nope, there's one. Mike got him. Vinny Gogniti. You are not even trying. Vladimir Lem. Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Oh, thank you. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hear the truck! Shut up! Shut up and die, Russian! I didn't go as planned, did it, Vinny? My hero! You saved my life! I could kiss you! Vinny Gogniti, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout's honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir, York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. A labyrinth of my devil's making for one prisoner's yes. That's odd.
Max, sorry I woke you. Shh. It's a secret. You must tell no one. Max. You better answer that. Max. 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 Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love We need to hit the place now. Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring them down. Shoot the kill! You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Pain, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it down. Put it down now! Drop your weapon. My hair. When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake.